How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, I want to share with you a bit of information, a quick tip to be able to help you guys clean out the drains on your RV. And you want to be careful because you don't want to damage something on your RV, so you want to use the right tool. So we have things like this where you can stick this down the drain and if you have a P-trap, the barbs on here will catch the hair and help pull out whatever might be plugging the, the sink or the shower or whatever might be plugging that drain right there. That is, if you have a P-trap, this could work. But if you have a Hepvo trap inside of your RV, then something like this can damage that. So every plumbing fixture that has a drain has to have a trap because if you think that it's just the smells of the black tank that can be bad, gray tank smells can be horrific. And so you want to make sure that that odor is not coming back up inside of the RV. So the two most popular traps is the P-trap and the waterless trap, often referred to as the HEPVO. It's the HEPVO is the most popular brand out there, but those are the two that you'll see. So you wanna figure out what kind of trap that you have on each of your sinks and or shower. Usually it's a pee trap where the water comes down, it'll rest in that area so you don't get any of the smells back up inside of your RV. But there's a second kind of trap that's called a Hepvo trap and it's basically a straight pipe so there's no pee trap in there to hold that water in there and to stop the smells coming up. What it has inside is a rubber seal. So it's basically like a balloon where the water can, can fall through and it'll allow that rubber seal to kind of open up. And then when the water's not passing through, it will close back up and that will create a seal so that the smells from your gray tank don't come back into the RV. But if you use something like this on that, you can snag that rubber seal that's on the inside, you can damage it, and then you're gonna start getting those smells inside. So you can either take it out and clean it is probably the best way, or I would even be willing to try uh, something like this, something that's not gonna snag it, not gonna grab the edge of it and create a problem with that trap for that sink. Now really the best advice for cleaning this out is just to remove it. They're not difficult to remove and there's usually a warning nearby not to stick anything in there because you could damage it. So removing it is simple because it's a waterless trap. It's not holding any water inside. Compared to a P-trap when you take it apart, it's usually gonna be a, a little bit of water involved in trying to take that trap apart. So like this one next to me, I have all these plumbing pipes and electrical wires and pump underneath it. So it's gonna make a mess when I go to remove it. So I put a collapse collapsible bucket underneath there when I want to remove that and clean it on the inside. But because it's kind of a pain for that P-trap, that's usually why I'm using these other tools that I got in this kit. So I can just reach in there and grab whatever I want to. If I wanted to use this to grab rather than uh, the other orange one that I have that kind of pulls the hair out, you don't want to push that hair in or whatever's clogging it. This, I'm able to just grab it right out. A good little toolkit can make a, a simple job even easier. Here's another tip with traps. If after driving you have a bad smell inside, sometimes that water will slosh out of the P-trap while driving. If you add a little bit of water into those P-traps, it might just take care of that smell. Another thing, if you're gonna take the trap apart, like the waterless trap or the P-trap apart to clean it, take a plastic bag and a rubber band and put it on the side that's gonna be on the tank side. So that way you don't get those smells coming up as you're cleaning it. Then you can put everything back together and it should be working properly. But that should help you not have as many bad smells while you're going through the process of cleaning. So the takeaway here is use the right tool for the type of trap that you have. And you can look under there really simple. If your plumbing has a little curve to it where it's gonna hold that water in there, that's a typical P-trap. If you're gonna have a white section of the pipe that's enlarged, that's gonna be the HEPVO valve. Those are usually pretty easy and evident to see in there. So find out which drain you have and use the right tool to clean it out. So that's pretty much it. I hope these tips help you out and help you enjoy the RVing experience even more just by being able to do a little bit of maintenance. So like I said, that's gonna do it for today. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will. See you next video.